What's up, y'all? EWD33 here. Um, making a video, just a short one, um, about uh, the Atlanta Braves. They've already made a few moves on the um, offseason, which I'll talk about. Um, big one is they got rid of Larry Parrish, the hitting coach, because obviously um, – our offense just wasn't getting it done. I mean, Prado dropped from, you know, batting 300 last year to 260 this year. Uh, McCann, well, he had his, his basic numbers, but that slump at the end there that, you know, Parrish couldn't help him break, um, it just didn't work. And um, one of the big things that Frank Wren said was that a hitting coach is supposed to help players break out of that their norm and become, you know, excellent players, which Brian McCann definitely had a very good shot of this season. I mean, you can't blame it all on Parrish, but, I mean, because of the oblique injury that he suffered in, against the Pittsburgh Pirates, I think in, um, what was it, June? And, um... But still, I mean, he came back. He had a month and a half left, and he just slumped. And, I mean, Parrish couldn't help him at all. I mean, Hayward, you know, just slacked the whole season. Everyone, Everyone's numbers were down. Ugla's numbers were about the same, except his batting average. It's usually around 260. This year it was like 230. Um, you know, we just didn't have that um we didn't have that 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 umph that um hitting good good hitting coaches can provide for us so um Frank Wren decided to get uh get rid of Larry Parrish which I think was actually a pretty good move um also another big move is that Frank Wren came out and said that Derek Lowe will no longer have a starting role in the pitching rotation next year. And this means pretty much one thing, that we owe Derek Lowe $15 million, which we will probably pay out because, I mean, Frank Ren said, I mean, it's going to be Hudson, Hanson, Beachy, um, Jurgens, and then either Minor Tehran, Medlin, or Delgado, I think they should go with probably either Minor or Medlin. And then, you know, have all the rest of them in the bullpen. That's a great bullpen then, especially long relief. You got Tehran, who's one of the best, you know, pitching prospects in the league. You got Randall Delgado, who didn't do too terrible. And if you choose Medlin, you got Minor in the bullpen. Or if you choose Minor, you got Medlin in the bullpen. Which is great. So, I mean, there's no place for Derek Lowe on our team. There's no place for someone who will go, what, 7 and 19 or 9 and 17, something like that. There's no place for that. So, I think what they're going to do is they're going to pay Derek Lowe his guaranteed $15 million, And then they're probably just going to send him on his way. And that's pretty much all that's going to happen. And then what that does is that frees up a $15 million salary cap for next year, where I think. The best thing the Braves could do is because we have our pitching on lock. I mean, you got the starting rotation, which I already explained. Then you got the the bullpen, which is those other three that don't make the starting rotation, plus O'Flaherty, Venters, and Kimbrel, which is great. We don't need any pitching with that fifteen million dollars to free up because Derek Lowe was the highest paid player on the Braves. We can acquire a big name bat to give us that extra star power. I mean, we went and got Ugla, and Ugla, you know, hit 36 home run, 80 something RBIs. That's good. If he does that next year, then we got McCann and Prado. Hopefully, they'll break out of their slumps with the new hitting coach, and then we go out and acquire a big name bat. I think I don't know who's going to be a free agent. Um, but I mean. That $15 million can help us because, I mean, most um, big-name players, you know, unless they play for the Yankees, fuck the Yankees, by the way, the you know, unless they play with these teams and the big-name salary caps, they'll take $12 million 
to $15 million salary. I mean, I think players like, I think Ryan Braun actually might be a free agent if he opts not to play with Milwaukee next year. That might be a good chance to pick him up, pay him $15 million. He's a great player. If he was on the Braves, you know, that would be awesome. That would be so great because, you know, we'd have, uh, you know, a platoon rotation in right field, probably between Prado and um, Hayward. And if Chipper's injured, because I don't think Chipper's has had a season in the past four seasons where he hasn't been injured at least, you know, for, you know, a couple weeks, we'll have, you know, Martin cover him at third and have Chipper play right. We could fit a good left fielder in with that with that salary. Um, also, well, another big thing kind of shocked me, but in a way I could see it happen is Wren also said that um, Jason Hayward not might not have does not have a for sure starting position next season, which means that if there's someone better or we acquire someone, his he might be on the bench because I mean he's just really. He's had two seasons and hasn't done much. Let's face it. I mean, he's good. He's can be a good player. We've seen him be a good player, but I mean, it's very. It's like twenty percent of the time, and that's just not enough. That's not enough for him, from Jason Hayward. So, um, you know, that's that. I think that we probably can have a real, real good chance especially on this offseason, freeing up that salary from Derek Lowe to make a great acquisition, a good one. I mean, we got Ugla for, I think, $6 million a year. Imagine who we can get for $15 million a year. It's just the, the possibilities are endless, unless you want to get, you know, A-Rod. No, I'd, honestly, I'd rather not have A-Rod on our team. I don't think we could ever get pool host or anyone like that, but we could probably get some big name. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, Ryan Braun doesn't, um, doesn't, uh, opt to go back to Milwaukee and then we try and bake a pool for him because if Ryan Braun on our team, the Braves would be unstoppable. But anyways, yeah, that's my video. I just wanted to let y'all know. I'll keep everyone posted more on the acquisitions in the, in the off season. We've already been making moves, you know, the Braves coming off of that terrible meltdown. They don't want that to happen, and they don't want to be a non-playoff contender. And Frank Wren knows that. He, you know, everyone knows that. It just all depends on what Liberty Media wants to pay for players, Liberty Media being our owners. So, I mean, I'll just keep everyone posted on what goes on in the, in the, in the offseason. Hopefully we can acquire a big name with uh, letting go of Derek Lowe, even though that hasn't been finalized, but it's – Probably 90% sure that Derek Lowe won't be with us next year, which, I mean, I kind of predicted would happen. He, you know, he's 38, washed up. He's just – the salary is not enough for what he does. And so we'll probably pay him out and then have that freed up. Um, but anyways, this EWD33, see you all later.